Hi guys, so this is Miss Matthews um, from Entheos doing lesson 25, session two. So we're on measurement data and geometry. That's what we're doing today, all right? Our learning target, I can convert measurements. And a lot of this, we've done the math behind it just for you to visualize and understand um, what we mean by converting measurements. And convert means to change. And a measurement, um, how you measure something from one to 10, one to five, in days and minutes, right? There are different types of measurement units. Okay, I want you to try this for me. Which expressions are equivalent to 1,500 or 1,500? So normally in class, you would try this on your whiteboard. While you do it, I'm gonna do it with you. 1.5 times 100. So if I'm doing 1.5 times 100, I am going to move the decimal two times to the right because I'm multiplying. So I'll go one, two. Wish my marker would work. Let's try a different one. See, this reminds us like if we're in school and none of my markers work. One, two. So now we get, all right, one. Let's do it by a thousand. One, two, three. So we get, see, because I have two humps, so I add two zeros. We're going to do 10 to the power of three means that I need to move my decimal three places. One, two, three. Two humps, two zeros. 10 to the power of two. One, two. One hump, one zero. And 1.5 times 10 times 10 times 10. So that's three zeros, right? So I'll go 1.5 times 10, then times 10 again, and then times 10 again. Two humps, two zeros. So do you see that? All right, let's move on. So you're in your workbooks and you are on page 513, page 513, right? I'll write that right up, page 513 for now. All right, and I want you to read that. I'll read it with you. In some parts of the world, travel distances on road signs and maps are given in kilometers. How many meters are there in 3.5 kilometers? And it gives you one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Do you see the sign It says Paris 3.5 kilometers that way? Yes, I know what you're thinking. I've been there, it's beautiful. You should go there sometime. So what is this problem about? Kilometers, traveling the world, signs on your road. What are we trying to find out? We're trying to find out how many meters are in 3.5 kilometers. What information is important? The information that's important, the information that they gave you that one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. And also we're trying to get to Paris. Paris is 3.5 kilometers away. How many meters do we have to travel? Okay. Now I want us all to try to work that in our minds, right? And I'm going to do the same. So I'm thinking one kilometer is a thousand meters. So for me to find how much 3.5 kilometers is, I am going to have to do 3.5 multiply by a thousand. And that's one, two, three. So I have two humps there. I'm going to put two zeros in, right? Or I could do one kilometer is a thousand meters, right? Two kilometers, put another thousand here, right? Three kilometers, put another thousand. And then 0. 0.5 is a half because 0. 0.5 is equal to five over 10. And if I simplify that, five and a five is one, five and a 10 is two. Half of a thousand, right? 1,000 divided by two, two into 10 is five, zero, zero. I know it's 500. Half a kilometer, or you can write it like that, two ways. And then I can add all of these, and I'm gonna get zero, zero, five, three. See, same thing. Awesome. What do you guys think about that? 
Did you guys use any different methods? You could use one like this. You could use multiplying by the decimals. Um, you can tell me in the chat what m different methods you guys used. All right, let's go to the next one. And we are now on page 514 and we're gonna compare strategies. All right, so there's a table in your book and it shows you for every kilometer, there's a thousand meters. Every two kilometers, there are 2,000 meters, right? Three kilometers, 3,000 meters, and so on. So it shows you the relationship. Okay, let's try to solve for one of those, which is 3.5 kilometers, okay? What do we think? One is a thousand. One kilometer is a thousand meters. 2 kilometers, 2,000 meters, 3 kilometers, 3,000 meters, but now we have 3.5 kilometers. Hmm. So to find the number of meters, 3.5 kilometers, we could multiply 3.5 by 1,000, which is what we did before. 1, 2, 3, 2 bumps, so we add two zeros. So we know this will be, okay, just want that over one more time. And let's make some connections. Number one, which is the smaller unit, meters or kilometers? And how do you know? So meters are the smaller unit. And how do we know this? We know this because it takes 1,000 meters to make up one kilometer. So the kilometer has to be bigger, right? Because one kilometer has one thousand meters number two how do we know it's multiply what operation do you use to convert from a large measurement unit to a small measurement unit you multiply because when you multiply the answer gets to be bigger number three 3.5 kilometers is equal to 3500 meters and number four the connection that we've learned is that we need to multiply right all kilometers by a thousand so if i did 0.8 multiply by a thousand right one two three two bumps two zeros see that 800 1.85 1.85 multiply by a thousand one two three what's one zero we need right so one and so on 2.03 Multiply by a thousand. One, two, three. So we're going to get two, zero, three, zero. See? Number five. How many meters in, a kilo in kilometers? One thousand times. Right? We figure that out. Number six. There are three feet in one yard. Explain how you decide whether to multiply or divide by three if you need to convert yards into feet. Feet, a smaller measurement unit. To convert yard to feet, you multiply by three, right? Because feet are a smaller measurement than a yard. So it takes three feet to make up one yard. So for every three feet, you have one yard. So if you want to know, right, um, to convert, if you wanna be able to convert yards, to feet, you have to multiply. So for example, if I had one yard, I know it's three feet. If I have three yards, how many feet would it be? Do I multiply or I divide? I will need to multiply, right? Remember multiplication is repeated addition. So three times three, nine feet. What about two yards? We can multiply or we can add. So three plus three, six, or three times two, six feet. Okay, all right, let's move on. And reflect. So I need you to think about what you've done and see if that makes sense to you. Um, which method would you prefer? Okay, so take a minute and write that. Okay, number eight, how many ounces are there in four and a half pounds? Okay, how many ounces are there in four and a half pounds? And it's supposed to tell you 
16 ounces in one pound. 16 ounces. My OZ is how I abbreviate for ounces. And one pound, this is how I abbreviate for pound. So how many ounces are in four and a half pounds? So we don't know this mystery box. Who can tell me what we do? The smaller unit is ounces. So what do we do? We multiply. So I am going to multiply. What am I going to multiply? Four and a half pounds multiplied by 16. So let's change this because this is an improper, this is a mixed number. I'm going to change it to an improper fraction. Four times two is eight plus one, nine over two times 16. Okay, can we do the math on that? What is nine, 16 times nine? Let's do it right here. Nine times six is 54. Right here, one times nine is nine and five is 14. 144 over 2. So 2 into 14. If we simplify that is 7. And 2 into 4 is 2. So there are 72 ounces in four and a half pounds. Got it? All right, let's move on. Number nine. Let's see. That one says, how many millimeters? are in 9.25 centimeters. So for every centimeter, I have 10 millimeters. And what do we wanna know? How many millimeters, we don't know that, that's the mystery, are in 9.25. So these measurements that are in grades of 10 are a little bit simpler to do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is because we have tens, right? That makes a big difference. So how do we know how many millimeters are in one centimeter? 10, so now we're doing 9.25. And because this is a bigger number, remember, it's a smaller unit, so it's a bigger number, what do we do? We multiply. So we are going to multiply 9.25 times 10. Why 10? Because 10 is the measurement, right? And 10 has one zero, so how many spaces are we gonna move when we multiply decimals? You guys all know this, one. So we got 92.5, so that's what we're gonna get, 92.5 millimeters, got it? All right, and now I think this is your exit ticket out of here. It's more fun when we're in class, huh? Because you guys can raise your whiteboards up, I missed that. Ravi's fish tank can hold 65 liters of water. How many milliliters of water can a fish tank hold? So his fish tank can hold 65 liters of water. How many milliliters can a fish tank hold? Every liter is a thousand milliliters. One liter is a thousand milliliters. So come on guys, you can guess it. What do we need to do? This is a smaller unit, so we multiply. What do we multiply by? The actual measurement. So we multiply by 1,000. So how many milliliters? You got it, 65,000. Milliliters, milliliters. What am I doing? Right. And what answer do we have there? Yes, that answer is D. We're correct. All right, guys. See you next time.